And good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us during the six o'clock newscast. After months of military buildup, Russia has invaded Ukraine, which was once part of the Soviet Union. Tonight, the death toll is climbing with more than 40 Ukrainian soldiers and up to 10 civilians killed. We begin with Isabel Rosales, who is in Washington with the latest sanctions outlined by President Biden. President Joe Biden unleashing several more crushing economic sanctions against Russia, saying they're designed to, quote, maximize long-term impact on Russia and minimize the impact in the U.S. and its allies. The United States is not doing this alone. Biden says the new sanctions will block four major Russian banks from the U.S. financial system, freezing their assets. We will limit Russia's ability to do business in dollars, euros, pounds, and yen to be part of the global economy. Before the first light of dawn, the Russian attack began. Missiles raining down on locations near the capital, Kyiv. Stunned Ukrainian families taking cover in subways turned bomb shelters. They actually are taking in our neighborhood and they're making us feel insecure and very unsafe. Others scrambling to pull money out of ATMs or deadlocked in traffic to evacuate the capital city of Kyiv. Well known. In a chilling TV broadcast, Russian President Vladimir Putin warning other countries to not interfere. Russia's response will be fast and leave you such consequences you will never face again and you faced again in your history. Biden unfazed in his response. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. In Washington, Isabel Rosales.